Shalom and welcome to our 21st annual Feast of Weeks. This is part 19 of Preparing for Rulership. Ethics of the Old Testament. You hear this word, ethics in government, that lawyers should be ethical, that businessmen should practice the principles of ethics. Something that lawyers have, government demands, and uh, business should be based upon, should it not be taught in the public schools? I wonder why, or do you wonder why, ethics has never been taught to us in the public schools. Let's see what ethics is. I will define it again tonight. Ethics defined is a system of moral principles. The rules of conduct recognized in a group or a culture. We, as the so-called black people of America, being without the knowledge of our father, Yahweh, are without culture. We are a people who seek to practice the culture of other nations. And in our efforts to practice the culture of other nations, we despise anything from among ourselves. Being a people in America come from slavery, our culture was deliberately destroyed. For what reason? So that we would become subservient and willing servants to the slave master. The results are our people complain all across America about their condition. That we live in the ghetto, we live in poverty, misery, suffering, want, need. We complain about how someone else forces us to live. And yet we say we're free. But my people in America are so blind, deaf, dumb, ignorant, and dead to the knowledge of their creator Yahweh that they don't recognize rules and conduct that will enhance your position toward rulership. Ethics is a branch of philosophy dealing with values. You gotta know what value is, know what's valuable. Children are valuable. Children are your wealth. Ethics deals with rightness and wrongness, goodness and badness in human relations. Ethics implies high standards, honesty, virtue, chaste, chastity, upright in your thinking. Be on the square with your brother, be on the level with your brother. Let your word be your bond, all oh, that's ethics. If your word is not your bond, you are not a man. You're not a man unless your word is your bond. That's a part of becoming a man. But we're not taught how to become men in the, under the enemy. You learn about manhood in secret. Isn't that something? And then when you find out about how to become a man in secret, then you find, wake up and find out you're bound. Took an oath that you can't tell nobody. Ethics deals with honorable dealing. Honorable dealings in business and personal relations. Ethics. 
ethics is found in the roots of your and my culture historically given to us by our Father Yah. The entire planet Earth learned about ethics from you and me. We are the original teachers of all the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that exists. We are responsible for culture. You are the original teachers of the Earth. Well, what happened to you? You turned your back on your God. First Kings. Chapter 9. See what happened. The answer to all problems right here in the book. Beginning in verse 5. First Kings chapter 9. Beginning with verse 5. Let's find out what happened that we lost our exalted position as the master teachers of the earth. We were the exalted people of the earth, the master teachers. We were the cunning ones in all wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We were ten times greater than anybody on earth, but we lost it. Let's see how. Verse 5, read. Then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel forever, as I promised to David thy father, saying, There shall not fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Here Israel is supposed to rule forever. But you find us being in a position of slaves, and servants to other people. We were complaining about white folks, but now we find ourselves on the bottom of Cubans. Now we, now we find ourselves on the bottom of Haitians. Unless you're in Yahweh, then you find yourself on top. <laughs> we lost something. Evidently, I have the power to restore that something that was lost. That's rather apparent. My works prove that. But yet, we are supposed to be ruling forever. Verse 6 reads, But... See, this is what you get. I'm, I'm establishing the throne of your kingdom forever. But... That's that big word. If. That's another. Boy, you talk about a big word. That's longer than a lot of letters in, in some words. That's, but if you shall at all turn from following me, you are your children. I'm not going to turn from you. But if you turn, if you don't turn and your children keep our agreement, I'll continue my blessing through your children forever. But if you or your children ever turn from following me, and will not keep my commandments and will not keep my statutes which I myself God creator Elohim Yahweh set before you I didn't send somebody to set it I said it. and you with your independent individualistic mind and mentality who want to do your own thing until you get in deep trouble, then you wonder about your thing. <laughs> but if you in your individualistic mind go and serve other gods, see, this, this don't look like you. This, this is a God, but see, he, he don't look like you. He's not the God, he's just a God. 
God's many, you know. Even you guys don't have no sense yourself. I'm here to give you sense. But if you go and serve other gods and worship them, and see, you worship everything that looked like this fellow. Oh, yes, my people do. They want hair like this. They go sit in parlors. Y'all, excuse me. See, I'm not trying to make you mad, sister. I'm just talking the truth. You don't mind, do you, if I tell the truth? I mean, it's the truth. We've been brainwashed bad. We, we, we want to look like these folks. From See, they're worshiping other gods. Got millions and, and still hate self. Hmm? Now, if you turn or your children turn, then will I cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them. Now, you have to admit you were brought into slavery Brought into slavery means you were cut off from your own land. Now you, you just know that's true. If you can't accept that reality, praise Yahweh, you need a lot of prayer. And I'm not going to promise you that I'll pray for you either. If you're that crazy. <laughs> not to understand that when you are brought in chains from your own land to another land, you have been cut off from what was yours. That's a physical cut off. When we were first brought here, it was just a physical cut off because we still remembered where we came from. But in these last 432 years, if I ask you, where in Africa did you come from? You cannot answer me unless you know me. See, I'm the only one who can give you the answer. Otherwise, you don't know. Because you're not an African. I wrote the book, You're Not a Nigger, and neither are you an African. And you're not a Bahamian, and you're not a Cuban, and you're not a Haitian, and you're not a Jamaican. You're not none of that. If you are, why you still got white folks' names? <laughs> Oh, glory, the truth is the light. Somebody wanted to divide us all up from being one people. So they gave us all these little different names and titles, gave us a little island here and there. They really didn't give it to us. They let us work for them like we work for them over here. But if you turn, I will cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them in this house Israel which I have made holy for my name. Read that, for my name. Will I cast out of my sight? You have to admit we've been cast out. And Israel will be a proverb and a byword among how many? What does proverb and byword mean? Nickname. Look those words up, you'll find it means a nickname. What's a nickname? A name other than your true name. Like nigger, color, coon, jig, spill, shine, Jim, Jack, Jerry, boy, uncle, nigger, colored, hmm? black. Proverbs and byword, just like the book says. Verse 9, everybody read. And they shall answer, because they forsook Yahweh their God, who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and have taken hold upon other gods, and have worshipped them, and served them. Therefore have Yahweh brought upon them all this evil. That was the answer to the question in verse 8. The nations were hissing and laughing and making fun of us being on the bottom here in America. And they asked, the children asked, why, why are black people treated like this? Why are they so mistreated and, and on the bottom and catching hell? 
So they would turn around and answer their children and say, because they turned their back on their own God, Yahweh. That's why you're catching hell. You want to stop catching hell? What do you do? Return to your God. When you return to me, I'll return to you. Historically, after Egypt, we were cattle breeders. We were semi-nomadic. Kind of moved around a little bit. We weren't nomads, just semi. You know, you needed somewhere to feed your cattle, so you had to move them around. Now the main trend of Israelite tradition is derived from cattle breeding. That is symbolic for today. Yes, we need cattle now, but strangers are taking care of our cattle right now. Hmm? Isaiah what? 64? 61, 4 and 5. See, this is what I'm doing in America. Isaiah 61, verse 4 and 5. This is what I'm doing. Let's read verse 5 first. That answers my question. Verse 5. Read. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks. And the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. The people that don't look like you are feeding you. You don't feed yourself. You don't seek to feed yourself. You either look for a job, can't find a job, you seek welfare. You don't seek to grow watermelons and cucumbers and leeks. Yeah, you just want to sit around under trees on the corners as a people. So the alien and the stranger is taking care of our cattle and feeding us. Please turn to side two. But what I'm doing is in the verse above that, verse four, building the old waste. And I'm raising up the former desolation. See, I take slum property, destroyed property, drug infested property, even termite infested property where the, the ceilings and the roof and the floors are caving in on people and I go in and make put in brand new floors, precious trees, make it inhabitable and safe. And then I begin to paint it up after I fix it up from the inside out. I make it new. The old waste that nobody wants. I pay a million dollars for a piece of property that None of them would pay $200,000 for. But when I finish with it, it's worth several million. It becomes a money maker. Because I'm a money generator. I generate money. I know how to make something out of nothing. Because I'm the creator. And all people that drive by our properties and see them in a renovated state have to be awed. They have to stand mystified because I'm the mystic. And they see us working like ants in perfect unity and harmony. We work as one day and night till we get the job done. And everybody has to drive by, walk by, stand, look in amazement at the miracle that is taking place. You mean this is the dead, so-called blacks of America, accomplishing these realities? Something has happened to them, right? 
Yahweh is happening to me. Yahweh. The spirit of Yahweh is entering my people, making us a new people. Our old mind is being renewed. We're being renewed in the spirit of our mind. We no longer let an old creature. We become a new creature in Yahweh. Now get rid of that old heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. Feeling for each other. And we do what they say is impossible to do. Unity. Yes, we work in unity. What's our motto? Our motto is one God, one mind, one love, and one act. See, that doesn't happen among people who look like you and me. Only here. Only here does that happen. In Yahweh. Taking care of cattle was one of our traditions. And if you look up cattle breeding, that tells you what it is. That's industry. We have white folks and other folks taking care of the four-legged cattle while I'm taking care of industry. So we built a system of ethics around cattle breeding. I know how to make the cow take care of you. We take care of the cow, cow take care of us. See, the dung, the waste that comes from the cow can be used for fertilizer, can be used to cook with, source of energy to heat your home, get gas from it, pure gas in it that will not pollute the earth or the air and you can run your automobile and you drive the tractors with, with the dung from the animal. But when you're dead, you stink like that stuff stinks. You don't know what to do with it. See, I know because I created all of it. I know I, I create the perfect cycle. I made it biodegradable. And I know how to break it down in, in, in a state of decomposition. I capture the resulting energy for the good of my creatures and my children. You wait till I take over the earth, I'll show you how to clean it up. That's what I'm here to do, clean it up. Take care of the cow. Don't kill the cow, milk the cow. Get butter, cheese, cream cheese. Butter, milk, cream. And all of you to get hungry, I sell it to you. I'm not going to kill my money maker. The cow makes money. No, eat the cow. Eat the stuff come from the cow. That's industry. Then when the cow get ready to die, I, I milk him till he dies. And make the cow have a baby every nine months. Because, see, that's mathematics. That's why I wrote this book. Yahweh Ben Yahweh is mathematics. Designed to rule the world forever. The, the knowledge in here would give our children rulership forever. I wrote it. I produced it. It's high man. Multiply. Every nine months, a new cow, a new bull. Too many bulls, we kill the bull. Don't kill all the bulls, you save the bull and let him plow. You know, fix him up where he won't run after all those cows. We know how to do that. He'll be real tame. He'll just be happy to pull a fly and eat straw and stuff. Call him an ox. He's he no longer a bull, he's called ox. Because he lost something. See, when you lose something, you become a servant to somebody else, you know. 
If, if he stayed a bull, you couldn't put him in that harness, boy. When those cows go by, he's coming out that harness. You just have to follow him around. <laughs> See, we lost our manhood. We lost our ethics. Then when the cow died, we sell him to the stranger. If he died from TB or anything, you cut him up right then. Cut, cut the council off and sell it to all those little aliens, the strangers. That's what the word said. But I won't sell him the leather. I cut the skin off so I can make shoes and pocketbooks. You sisters like pocketbooks and leather shoes, don't you? Yeah, see, I'll, I'll make all that for you sisters. All my sisters. Shoes and pocketbooks and purses. Leather stuff that you love. See, that's industry, isn't it? Why are we taught that? My children can tell you all about that. So they're masters of what I'm talking about right now. They are masters of what I'm telling you. They can take this knowledge on. They can, they can roll it on to you for hours, what I just said. What's wrong with my people? Why did they leave the farm and move into the city, in the ghetto? When you were on the farm, you could go out and plant one seed and, and, and get 10 watermelons from it. Have a cow, a goat, I won't say pig anymore because that's forbidden by Yahweh, but you can have one of each kind of animal and, and, and feed your family all year. Be independent. And then when spring comes, you can plant enough beans and corn and rice and everything else you need just in a matter of hours that'll take care of you through winter because you can all that stuff. But see, you lost something. When you lost the knowledge of your God, Yahweh, you lost the knowledge of yourself, and you lost your culture. You lost your tradition. You lost your ethics. When you turned your back on Yahweh to come and serve other gods, you became unethical like the people around you. America is run by unethical people. Ethics means honesty. Unethical means dishonesty. Ethical means truth-telling. Unethical means lying. Do unethical people in government make you happy or sad? Proverbs 29.2. Everything I say to you is in the Bible. I don't speak outside the Bible. Proverbs chapter 29. Verse 2, read. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Are my people mourning in America? Yes. Then what kind of people are in rulership? Yes. You don't like to say that, right? What kind of people are ruling in the world today? So are the people of the world happy or are they all preparing for war? Why is everybody on the earth preparing for war? Because the wicked rule. I come as the Prince of Peace. I come without physical carnal weapons. I don't allow weapons here. I teach us not to carry weapons or use weapons. Use the elements of my divine mind. All you need are the attributes of my divine mind to survive. And we will conquer the world because righteousness exalts the nation. We cannot exalt ourselves by carrying weapons because all the, all the nations that carry weapons are not exalted. So we want to be high and respected and loved and accepted. You cannot be accepted by other nations and to be in their civilized company and your mouth is vile. The only language you can speak is profanity. Speak nasty to your women. When you speak nasty to your women, you'll speak nasty to anybody else's woman. So rather than have to kill you for being in their company, speaking nasty to their women, they ostracize you. They form clubs and housing communities to keep you and your filthy mouth out. And you want them to accept you in your old, ignorant, filthy-minded state. And they think they're better than somebody. Well, they are. 
They are better than you if you are filthy minded. <laughs> Glory, you can't be accepted and exalted and people want to be in your company and you are ignorant. Wicked, thieves, burglars, druggies, alcoholics. Who wants you? You're an adulterer. What man wants to trust you with his life? And he knows you'll stick anybody. Man, I'm not, no, you can't run around with mine. <laughs> Wicked, who wants you? Nobody with sense. I'm the only one that wanted you. Though you were unethical and have turned for me, nevertheless, I come to you and offer my hand in friendship and say, if you come to me, I'll come to you. You return to me, I'll return to you. You come to me and I'll lift you up. And when you come, I'll prove it. This concludes part 19 of Preparing for rulership.